Hello everyone, this is Jean-Philippe Gaston at the kitchen at DR Delicacy. And this week we're doing a little quick sear, quick meals that you can have at home with all some of this product. In this case, we're gonna do a little mushroom fricassee or fricassee. Um, we have some yellow foot, some woodier mushroom, lion's mane, king trumpet, shiitake mushrooms, and the all favorite chanterelle. So you're gonna have a pot, well, I use the pot because I don't have a big pan, but what you wanna do is you wanna get it nice to medium heat and just immediately start putting in some ingredients. So you wanna put some, ooh, that's a little hot. You're gonna put about quarter, I mean, four ounces of butter into it. I got some uh, thin sliced elephant uh, garlic that we're gonna put in a little bit. You're gonna put some shallots in here, because why not? And then your mushrooms. This is a, a bunch of different ways. You don't wanna work them too much. You wanna just kinda loosen them up a little bit. So these, you, kinda, you can kinda shred them, leave them whole. Some of them, most of them are pretty small. So they have a really cool like texture, like spaghettis almost. The woodiers will get to the second. The lion's men are pretty, pretty pretty thin as well so we're gonna work those at the end king trumpets you want to preserve as much of the mushroom as you can some people cut them in slices and they look like scallops a little bit i like to get as many big strings as i can kind of like oaxaca cheese if you ever had it it's almost awesome so it's very spongy so the trick with the mushrooms is that you want to get that hot really hot sear because like I said, they're sponges, so they're gonna absorb a lot of the stuff, but if they're not cooked at high heat, they're gonna get really spongy and chewy. Their shiitakes, these are fresh and little ones, so why not just throw them in there, they'll shrink. Your chanterelles, the same way. Chanterelles have such a beautiful flavor and they're so expensive, you kinda wanna have a big chunk of them. You wanna taste everything and eat. You don't want these flavors to blend because they have very particular flavors. And they're, like I said, on the pricier level. Your woodier mushrooms. These are the ones that you will see in Asian cooking a lot. And they're um, they're kind of like uh, cartilage, it feels like. That's why they're, the name they have behind them. So most of the times you'll have them, you'll have them in soups and stuff like this in the shape in which I'm cutting right now. So they're nice and crunchy, and they give really good texture to soups and salads and stuff like that. I made a bunch of salads with both mushrooms that I mean, and I like them all in every shape. So, put them all in. Then, next, lion's mane. This is a very fibrous mushroom. It's been used in certain ways to kind of like replicate crab meat. So you can do a vegetarian crab cake. You can do like very high in protein, very good for you uh, medically wise. Look at all that stuff on Google if you like or Wikipedia. But um, it is very good for medicine purposes. And it's uh, just happened to be in Houston right now at the farmer's market. So get some while you can. It's a beautiful mushroom. It shreds, it'll keep cooking, it'll have that texture of like, like I said, crab meat. If you're making soups or stews or anything like that, it'll work out. Get a quick stir. You want to bring back that heat. That turn up because it was burning. And you want to work all those flavors. This will literally take a couple minutes. These mushrooms don't need a lot of cooking. You want to preserve those flavors. And you just want to add to it. You don't want to take away from it. So, we're gonna add some of that salt, the other salt. Our herb salt and black pepper from DR Dose. Did I cover the meat? Whatever. Put a good amount of that. You wanna add your garlic. I cut it real thin so that it kind of dissolves once it hits the pan. And the shallots have plenty of flavor. We have a quick coffee sauce. And in a couple of 
couple minutes, you'll have it. So, a lot of people add nuts, pine nuts, pecan, anything you want. Uh, like I said, this can be a hot salad, a cold salad. You can add some white wine to it, just add flavor to it. This is just, in general, a beautiful vegetarian dish that if you like mushrooms, it'll drive you nuts. And it's just that simple. See how the knives may try to break up, it almost looks like string cheese in there. It looks like it. Just like that. Thank you.